Hi, I'm Ted Millich and I'm back again with my vlog series Beyond Democracy about the next step in the evolution of human governance, which is called sociocracy and also known as dynamic governance. Today I will explain how it is fundamentally different from all the current ways we govern ourselves. I was going to do the great scene from The Matrix, where Morpheus offers Neo the red pill or the blue pill, but I can't justify the time. There's just too much important stuff to say. So I'll just do it really quick. You've felt your entire life that there's something wrong with the world. Splinter in your mind, driving you mad. The world that has conditioned you to see only one truth. Last chance. No turning back. Wonderland. Rabbit hole. Red pill. Blue pill. Okay, now just take the damn red pill already. And listen to Greg Kendrick, a sociocracy and nonviolent communications consultant here in Charlottesville. I believe the world's working under somewhat of an illusion right now, that the way people interact is this way. Somebody's in charge, the rest of you just do what you're told, and that's the way it works. And we've just taken that on. We've accepted it. Uh, and I believe the, the, the cloak is about to be removed that that's the way we've been doing it, but that's not the way it has to be. That there is a deeper way that we work that actually not only is more meaningful, uh, it's more powerful. The boss-employee relationship is based on authority. If you don't behave within certain limits, your boss has the authority to fire you. And of course, you don't have a say in your boss's decision, even when they affect you. But you still need to do whatever is decided. That is coercion, and this relationship is authoritarian. We're all used to this model because it's all we've really known. We use authoritarian models in our governments, businesses, schools, and everywhere else people do things together. Most of these organizations are benevolent, or at least benign, but they still don't work very well and create all sorts of dysfunction. Sociocracy is fundamentally different from all of our governance models today because our current methods are based on a linear systems model. Power flows one way, from the top of the hierarchy down. The higher in the hierarchy you are, the more power you have. Power is concentrated, so when you look at human technical knowledge of systems, you can see that the other end of the spectrum from linear systems is the dynamic end. In linear social systems, the power flows one way. In dynamic systems, the power flows back and forth between all the elements. In a social system, the elements are the people. Forty years ago, an electronics engineer who owned a company with 165 employees applied his considerable technical knowledge to the social system, the governance system, of his company, and developed the first completely dynamic social system. It took years of using trial and error and wasn't easy, but he did it and now there's a complete, workable, and practical set of processes that anyone can use. Because it uses dynamic processes, we call it dynamic governance, or DG. That engineer, Gerard Endenberg, calls it sociocracy, which dictionaries define as a theoretical system of government in which the interests of all members of society are served equally. Sounds about right. Gerard believes that sociocracy follows on from democracy. And for the last 12 years of studying and using it, I have been in total agreement. Sociocracy doesn't use coercion. All decisions must be freely made by the people affected by those decisions. It seems like that might be messy, but the sociocratic model works, and it works much better than one person making decisions for a lot of other people. After I finish this series about sociocracy, I'll describe how a sociocratic government could possibly look in operation. I think you'll be surprised. I sure have been. Look in my blog, that is the written version of this blog, for a contrast of some aspects of dynamic governance and linear governance, and also some links for more information if you want to read more. You can find it at this URL. Please tune in again for my next blog entry where I reveal the processes that sociocracy uses.